We are reporting the death of Pope John Paul II at the Vatican. On April 3rd, 2005, just one day after the death of Pope John Paul II, Roger Federer won the Miami Open final against the young Spaniard named Rafael Nadal. Even though he missed out on the chance of winning his first ever title at Masters level, reaching the final made Nadal break into the top 20 of the ATP Tennis World Ranking. A few days later, the wedding of Prince Charles of England and Camilla Parker Bowles had to be postponed by a day due to the Pope's funeral. On the 17th of April, Nadal would then win his very first Masters title in Monte Carlo and jump to number 11 in the world ranking. In the following week, a new Pope was elected and YouTube had its first ever video uploaded. And that's, that's cool. By also winning the Barcelona Open, Nadal had then entered the top 10 of men's tennis at only the age of 18. And what nobody knew back then was that he would not leave them again for the following 18 years. And the skeptics, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry you can't dream big, and I'm sorry you don't believe in miracles. Bush's over friendly back rub at a St. Petersburg summit. <laughs> I've decided together with the team that I'm uh, going to retire. And I will take you and the memory of you with me. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And scoring his first ever Grand Prix victory for Vodafone McLaren Mercedes, Lewis Hamilton. We are calling it iPhone. Huge kickoff right here for the final. Harry Potter book, right? CBS projects that Senator Barack Obama of Illinois will be the next president of the United States. Michael Jackson, 50 years old, the king of pop, has died. And as 2009 draws to a close, James Cameron's highly anticipated Avatar finally gets a release in the cinema. We call it the iPad. The world will be home to 7 billion people by the end of the month, according to the UN Population Fund. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. Edward Snowden revealed his identity to the Guardian. He knows he's a hunted man right now. He's I want to help Play clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Hello, it's me. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. Coronavirus continues to spread worldwide from its starting point in Wuhan, China. You know, the ATP came out and suspended everything. Definitely a, a bit lost for words. Um. You all the back my building. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. Buckingham Palace announced the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip. Now, after 16 years at the helm of one of the world's largest economies, Angela Merkel is leaving Germany's highest office. Queen Elizabeth II has died at the age of 96. Well, in an era of tennis kings, its founding father says farewell. Being quoted by them as saying that the former Pope Benedict 
has died. He's been in the top 10 since he was 18 years old, since 2005, a streak that no one else can even touch on the ATP. And that's pretty much all there is to say. It's unbelievable. 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 No, it's unbelievable. No.